Ladies and gentlemen of the Carphone Warehouse's Board of Directors, my name is Christopher Monteith, and I am here today, live via Skype, to evaluate and discuss the Carphone Warehouse's European growth. I'll begin my presentation by looking at the Carphone Warehouse's history of foreign market entry, and I'll evaluate the decisions that they've made, specifically the joint ventures of CPW Europe with Best Buy and Virgin Mobile France. After analyzing the Carphone Warehouse's past, I'll shift towards its present and look at the CPW's current market and financial positions, as well as its core competencies and competitive advantages, before finally discussing the best message for further growth in Europe to pursue in the future. Founded in 1989 in the United Kingdom, the Carphone Warehouse began as a humble mobile phone retailer, strictly in the UK. Through rapid yet organic growth, the Carphone Warehouse began to spread, and in 1996 expanded beyond the United Kingdom and into other parts of Western Europe. In 1998, through a series of acquisitions, the CPW launched its first foray into the process of internationalization. In the year 2006, the Carphone Warehouse began its first of two joint ventures, the first with the Virgin Group under the brand Virgin Mobile France, followed the next year by a joint venture with Best Buy, branded CPW Europe. Joint ventures have both strong advantages and strong disadvantages. They mitigate cost and risk, as well as giving a foreign company more insight into a local country, and JVs are also a necessity in some protectionist political landscapes. There are also prevalent disadvantages with joint ventures, including potential conflict, limited subsidiary control, and excess technology sharing. While a large multinational with a competitive advantage in technological innovation should not engage in joint ventures, a company such as Carphone Warehouse should follow the Uppsala model, which they have done exceptionally well by first gaining experience in their domestic market, then moving towards geographic and or culturally close countries before expanding outwards towards more geographically and culturally different countries. While throughout the process focusing on increasing expansion through various foreign market entry strategy means. When discussing the Carphone Warehouse's past model of internationalization, there are a few very important facts to discuss. While joint ventures are the best foreign market entry strategy for the Carphone Warehouse, its choice of partners remains somewhat perplexing. Seeking further European growth, the decision to embark on a joint venture with Best Buy, an American company, raises some legitimate questions. As a big box retailer with an American business culture, the Carphone Warehouse's decision to embark on a joint venture with Best Buy for further Europeanization was a questionable decision. While the Carphone Warehouse does gain a few advantages, from the joint ventures, most notably in the reduction of cost and risk. The CPW does not maximize the advantages of a joint venture through its partner choice in this case, as it would have by choosing a local partner that has a high awareness of the whole European market. Through the joint ventures with the Virgin Group, the Carphone Warehouse does indeed maximize the potential gains from the joint venture. With the CPW's expertise in mobile phones and mobile phone networks, along with the Virgin Group's excellent understanding of foreign and specifically European markets, Virgin Mobile France was immediately founded on a very, very strong base. Using joint ventures to expand in the European market because of the advantage that they deliver was a strong decision by the computer warehouse. While other foreign market entry strategies were available, none of them maximized the potential that the, that the level of joint ventures offer. Wholly owned subsidiaries are more useful when an organizational's technological advancement is their competitive advantage, while licensing, franchising, exporting, and turnkey projects all fail to deliver the magnitude of advantages found in a joint venture. Now that we've ascertained the most advantageous foreign market strategy for the Carphone Warehouse is this, joint ventures, let's look at the Carphone Warehouse's future in the European market. Research suggests the following decisions be made. 1. Increase expansion in Europe through localized joint ventures. Essentially, the Carphone Warehouse should engage in several joint ventures with companies that specialize in locations that have yet to be positively penetrated by the CPW. For example, companies with a strong awareness in Eastern Europe, Central Europe, the Mediterranean countries, or Scandinavia. The Uppsala model should govern progress, as expansion should be done in a progressive manner, both through market entry strategy decision making and by cultural and or geographical distance. Working with companies that have a firm understanding of the political, economic, and cultural landscape will aid the Carphone Warehouse expansion possibility frontier. After the big box expansion in Europe turned out to be a bad internationalization decision, an analysis of local cultures should be done before further expansion into new areas. Two, continued rollout of the Geek Squad brand. 
which will give the CPW a competitive advantage in the realm of customer service. Three, increase non-mobile phone offerings. And four, continue to exceed competition in the field of customer service by driving customer options, including prepayments, online opportunities, and bundle packages. To conclude, the Carphone Warehouse's foreign market entry strategies was a good decision, but its partner choice may not have been. And in the future, it must think of this. Thank you very much, and have a nice afternoon.